Hey guys, it's Miracle making miracles happen. Welcome to my channel. Real miracle is I have pink hair. I told you I make miracles happen. I made my hair pink magically. I'm just kidding. Obviously it's a wig. You probably knew that from the title of the video. But anyways, Hia Hair, I think that's how you say it. They sent me this lovely, beautiful pink wig and I was so excited because I really, I've always wanted to like dye my hair pink but then I was always scared to but like now I don't have to because now I have a pink wig and it is fabulous. I keep saying like I feel like a freaking cotton candy princess. So if you want to become a cotton candy princess, I'll leave the link to this wig down below as well as the link to the whole website in case you want to not be a cotton candy princess but you want to get a different wig. That option is there too. But anyways, in this video I'm going to be unboxing the wig and I'm going to be showing you how I put it on and I'm going to give you my honest review. This video isn't sponsored, I'm going to be 100% honest about the video and or about the wig. I'm going to be 100% honest about the wig. So, you know, no shady business here. It's real. They sent me it and I'm grateful, but I'm going to be honest and I honestly love it. It's and it's really freaking soft. I mean, whenever I wear like wigs that are really long, I just want to like keep touching it because I'm not used to having long hair. My hair is short AF. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy the video. Please subscribe. Please smash like you're ready on the video and uh, let's get into the review. So, welcome to my wig review. From Hia Hair, I think that's how you say it, it came in like this basic little box, you know, aesthetically pleasing just because it's real simple. And then it's hard to open because I'm challenged. And so it came with a two pack of wig, what? Two wig caps in one package. And then the wig came in like a plastic bag and a hairnet, but I just put it back in the hairnet. Look at this. This is beautiful. It's really freaking soft. Looks like freaking candy. I actually should probably, I'm gonna cut the lace a little bit more, but of course if you've ever seen a lace front wig before, the lace is like out to here and it just kind of like flops around and you just gotta snip it off, you know what I mean? But yeah, so I'm gonna cut that a little more, but then this one, oh, before when I was wearing it, I didn't realize it had a front clone, clone, what? A front clip comb piecing. I don't really know what they're called. But um, most wigs usually have like two on the, like one on each side. Yeah, so there's one on each side that just like clips to the side of your head. I don't know if you can see that. So that it doesn't move around. And then I didn't realize this before when I was trying it on, but there is also a front one. I was, I was gonna say, you know, it only has two clips, which kind of sucks. Because I like when there's three, but there is actually two. And then it has, in case you got like a tiny head or like a smaller head than this wig. I have a fairly large head, I think. But yeah, so see it has these clips and then there's little things here where you can just put the clip in. But I can't seem to put the clip in. You can adjust it so your wig fits. It's awesome. Alrighty. I'm just gonna use one of my old wig caps because like it's still fine. I'm I like struggle with putting a wig cap on when I have short hair because I can't put my hair up like when I have long hair. But um, just I just kind of like to tuck it into here, you know. There we go. There we go. This is like everything is so much more difficult when you have to do it on camera. I swear. Now that I look like a baby or man child. Like I said, there's like lace on here. I still have like quite a bit because when I first did this, I was like in a hurry because I was excited. So I didn't do it very good. But you know, you just gotta take some little skizzers and just chop the lace right off. I find it a lot easier to like do this when the wig isn't on my head. I've seen so many girls do it so like effortlessly making it look super easy with the wig on their head. But I ain't about to pretend that that it's easy, cause it's not. And you obviously wanna be careful cause you don't wanna cut like a whole bunch of the hairs off. I did that on my last wig. It was just really hard for me to get the stuff like over here on the sides without like chopping my face off. Let's just pretend that that's good enough cause I'm really bad at this. It looks, it looks a little better on the head, you know what I mean? You know, I actually think I like it. Wait, where the frick am I supposed to? Cause I have the wig cap on. Do I need to like push this way back? That's gonna look terrible. Okay, wait. I think I might like it way more when there's a clip in the front actually, cause like, let's just make my forehead look a lot smaller. All done, ready to go. I'm just kidding. I need to put this like way further back. But yeah, no, I think I like having my, the last wig I had had like the, 
two clips on the side, like one clip on each side, and then one clip on the back. But I think I definitely like having a clip on the front a lot more. Like I just feel like it goes on your head a lot better, you know what I mean? I feel like a cotton candy princess or a unicorn or a mermaid, something like that. It's really freaking soft. And then, of course, you know the drill. You want to blend that out. Because look at that, you know? That's definitely not growing out of my head. I definitely still need to put this back. All right, there we go, finally ready. So like I said, you know the drill. If you've ever seen a wig video, if you ever put on a lace front wig, you know the drill. I think this is the drill. I mean, I'm not a professional, I should probably say that, but I like to wear wigs and stuff, and I think I know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of concealer on this little tiny concealer brush, and then you just wanna put that on the part of the wig. Did that go sideways? I don't wanna... This wig looks a lot better with a center part, but yeah. You just want to make sure your hair is nice and parted however you want it on the lace there. I have some blonde hairs poking out, I need to fix that. And then you just put it on your part, and I like to kind of put, put it on the lace that's like touching my forehead to like really blend it in. just kind of have concealer like all over your hair <laughs> and then I'm just going to tap that out with my finger. You can also like pluck some of the hairs out I'm pretty sure and like I tried doing that but it didn't really like work very well I guess you can say. It was hard to like get the hairs out of the slice. You know? They were in for the long haul. So there now it looks like it's growing out of my scalp. I'm just kidding. It's just fun. I mean, it's. I feel like I'm not good enough at putting on wigs to make it look natural. And it's also like synthetic and stuff like that. But like, I, I really like it. I think it looks good. It feels good. I wish, I kind of wish my hair was actually like this, like this long and this color. I'd feel like a freaking cotton candy princess every single day. But yeah, this is my wig. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You should go get yourself the same wig and we can be 20. I'll show you guys how long it is. It's like pretty freaking long. Um, it's also, it's a lot lighter than the last wig that I got. The last wig I got was from Everyday Wigs, and I really like this one. My last wig was, like, so freaking heavy, and I didn't know what to do with all the hair, but, like, this one, it, there's, like, a lot of hair, but it's, like, good, you know? Like, I don't know, I really like it. I was considering a while ago dyeing my hair pink, and now I got pink wigs, so I'm gonna dye my hair. Don't gotta make any brash decisions, you know what I mean? But yeah, so that's gonna be the end of this video. I really freaking like this wig. I'm gonna live in this. I'm just kidding. I definitely won't. That's kind of gross, but anyways I'll leave the link to Hia Hair down below again I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I hope that I am and again Thank you to Hia Hair for sending me this beautiful wig. Make sure you peep the Instagram It'll uh, it's Maramorse I'm gonna post pictures in the wig so you can see more of it and follow me, you know what I'm saying? And check out some other wigs, buy yourself a wig because wigs are super fun, super cool. Don't ruin your hair, just buy a wig. That should be like a wig company trademark or trade line. Is that, is that the right word? But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash a like a Rudy on it and subscribe. And let me know what you thought down in the comments. I'll reply to you. And I hope you guys have a wonderful, fantabulous day and peace out.